In this video, we will go through the C command hydraulic C control settings in the inside display. From the home screen, go to Setup, Planning and Seating, press the Controller tab, select your controller from the controller list, press Controller Settings. In this screen, up to three channel tabs will be displayed. One channel will be displayed for each of the planter hydraulic drives that the display is actively controlling. In this configuration, I am controlling two planter hydraulic drives, so I have two channel tabs available. The same settings are available on each of the channels for the operator to change. The shaft speed cal, max meter speed, gear ratio, and allowable error are all available for the operator to change on both servo and PWM control valve configurations. The shaft speed cal represents the number of pulses per one revolution of the hydraulic motor. The max meter speed determines the maximum speed of the meter. The gear ratio is the ratio of revolutions of the hydraulic drive motor to turn the seed meter one revolution. The allowable error determines the percent of error that is allowed prior to the product control system making any flow rate changes. When servo valve configuration is selected, the operator has the ability to change the response threshold, valve response one, and valve response two settings. The response threshold determines the responsiveness to rate change. Valve response one determines the speed of the servo valve when the product control error exceeds the response threshold setting. Valve response two determines the speed of the servo valve when the product control error is less than the response threshold setting. When the control valve configuration is changed to PWM, the operator has the ability to change the PWM frequency, PWM gain, and zero flow offset. The PWM frequency is the frequency that the PWM control valve is pulsed at. The PWM gain determines how aggressively the control valve responds when making rate change adjustments. The higher the value, the more aggressive the response is. The zero flow offset represents the maximum duty cycle that is sent to the control valve without producing any hydraulic flow from the PWM valve. Using too high of a zero flow offset value can cause the product control system to not properly control low rates. Under the auxiliary tab, the operator can set the min ground speed, rate threshold, and rate not responding time. The min ground speed performs two functions. It determines the speed at which the motion detection sensor disengages and actual ground speed is used for a rate control. It also determines the target seed meter RPM when the motion detection sensor is active. The rate threshold is the percentage of seed rate error that triggers the hydraulic seed control alarms. Rate now responding time is the amount of time that the error occurs before the alarm sounds. When finished, press accept. You have now changed the C command hydraulic seed control settings in the inside display. For more information on Ag Leader products, please refer to your local Ag Leader dealer, other tutorial videos on the Ag Leader YouTube channel, or the Ag Leader knowledge base at support.agleader.com. To find an Ag Leader dealer in your area, please visit our website at www.agleader.com and use the Find a Dealer feature located on the homepage.